It's Tuesday in Lower Paxton Township. And you've tapped into, whether you like it or not, the Gazette Morning Update. For Tuesday, April 3rd, 2018. This one-of-a-kind, hyper-local newscast is brought to you by Consolidated Insurance Services in Paxtonia. Thank you, David Jones, for your long-time support dating back to last fall. Saved the Coons Pool weather report at the time. And then transitioned into the Gazette Morning Update. Also, I'd like to thank Pennsylvania House 105th Legislative District candidates Eric Epstein and Adam Klein. Epstein and Klein, their support is also appreciated. So I tell you what, we got a uh, interesting show or newscast put together for you. I want to show you, show you my uh, show notes. Look at this. Look at that. What a mess. <laughs> Flying by the seat of my pants. I have my mayor's hat on. Formerly, I was uh, went by the moniker Linglestown Mayor. I appeared in three. Professional wrestling events, got beat up three times. People are popping in and popping out. They're not very impressed with the hat, but who cares? This is, this is for, for the real diehard local people who want to know what's happening in their, in their, uh, in their neighborhood. Uh, some breaking news, and this, is, this isn't the normal kind of breaking news, but I've noticed that the computer shop based in the village of Linglestown on North Mountain Road, has moved. The computer shop has moved to Linglestown Road, um, west of the village. And uh, it's in the a former, uh, at one time it was a furniture store, I think. Yes, it definitely was a furniture store at one time. And then a medical testing facility. This is across the street from First National Bank, formerly Commerce Bank. And across the street from Dunkin' Donuts, a new location. They have a giant sign. The computer shop has moved, folks. And uh, it's really the go-to place locally if you have a computer problem. I've been a customer in the past. So look for the computer shop at a new location on Linglestown Road, west of the village, near Dunkin' Donuts. And I, I, these people are not sponsors, but I have, to, I have to give credit where credit is due. I love... This promotion every every year and it's backwards, I know, but this is Boscov's. Boscov's. Did you Boscov today? And just just for something interesting, I was going to. Oh darn it! I forgot to start that clock again. Take a look at what they're what's up for today. Tuesday, April third. Boscov's it has an extra twenty percent off uh, all cookware. Gadgets, bakeware, houseware, storage, and organization. Also, an extra 20% off all luggage, backpacks, and business cases. Hey, if you're in business, get over there. Boscov's today. That's what you need to Boscov today. It's like flossing your teeth. You have to head over there and see what they have. So that's the story there on that. And number three. Yes, I'm going to be meeting with the Gazette's mystery lifestyle writer today. We're going to try and tie down some details about the pending bus tour, uh, the wine tour to the Finger Lakes region. Uh, right now, tentatively, it's a one-day tour to a lake called Keuka, K-E-U-K-A. And darn it, hold on a second. This is Keuka Lake, folks. No, it's like this. this now it's actually oriented correctly. Keuka Lake. Finger Lake, it's it's uh, one of the best, I believe. Um, and where we're going to be, now actually, yeah, it's like this. Actually, we're going to be down here in Hammondsport, if, the, if this tour goes off. Hammondsport, and we'll be checking out three wineries up in here. Hammondsport, a little hamlet, was uh, a few years ago the, the best small town in the USA, declared by some no-name website. But, hey... It's it's at least they won it, right? And I was just up there a few weeks ago and was inspired to talk to our lifestyle guy about me possibly doing a tour. So that's happening today. Uh, other things. Number four on my list. Lower Paxton Township. 
Supervisors, let's get let's get it right. Let's get out the watchdog. We're watching, baby. The supervisors will be in action. And um, before we talk about the meeting, I mean, the uh, Lower Paxton Township has a new communications director, uh, Leanne Urban. She's doing a fine job with uh, the website and uh, and highlighting some fun things that are happening. It says, are you ready? Spring has finally arrived, and that means the annual chili cook-off and car show and kids' yard sale. That's April 28th. So that's what you have to look forward to at the end of the month, the annual chili cook-off and car show and the kids' yard sale. How about that? I'd like to welcome uh, Tim McCarthy checking in this morning. Hi, Tim. Um, and there's other things. So you just go to Lower Paxton's website. Just put Lower Paxton Township in your Google search, and it'll pop up. And plenty of things there on the home page. Now, as far as the meeting, the meeting tonight will take place at the Municipal Center on Prince Street. It starts at 7 o'clock. If you want to make public comments or interact with local f- officials and some of your neighbors, all you have to do is head over there. But you can also take in the meeting on Verizon Channel 20, Verizon Fios, that's that cable system, and Comcast Channel 21. And if you missed that, it, Leanne is somehow getting the videos posted on the township's website following the meeting. I'm not sure how quickly they show up. Um, however, you can get a look at it. Now, tonight's meeting, let's take a look at the agenda and see what's on there. Okay, call to, call to order, Pledge of Allegiance, approval of minutes, public comment. So that's where you can participate, public comment. You just walk up, talk about whatever you want to talk about as long as it's not on the agenda. You are welcome to talk about it. If it's on the agenda, you can talk about that when it comes up. There's an Arbor Day proclamation, action on bids for the collection of solid waste and recyclables. And that is worthy of note. Lower Paxton Township is going out periodically. They have to go out and renew their contract for waste, uh, solid waste removal or trash, as well as uh, recyclables. So that's up. I haven't been following it that closely, uh, but that is, there's going to be action on that bid tonight. So if you have any questions or concerns about what's been happening, if you're in the know, now's the time to let them know because they're going to be taking action tonight. That's following public comment. The new business a resolution authorizing submission of a grant application to uh, the state for support of Oak Park Greenway Study. And there's a link here. You can find out what that is. I'm not sure what that study is all about. Also, another grant application for support of Heroes Grove Phase 2. Uh, Heroes Grove is located next to the Friendship Center uh, behind the, um, oh, I don't know what the name of the plaza is. It's, it's where Hobby Lobby's at right now, the, where, where Giant used to be. Behind there at Bright Bill Park, there is there is the... Uh, Heroes Grove Amphitheater. You know, it's something that many, many people may not even know about. We have an amphitheater here in Lingo, in the Lower Paxton Township at Bright Bill Park. So we're looking for a grant for that. And then, um, then it's just pretty much standard business from there on out. So the biggest issue tonight, the trash contract. They've received the bids, and they're going to be taking action on the bids. The staff at the township will make a recommendation. Our supervisors, headed up by um, Board Chairman Loman Henry, will have to decide whether they want to accept any of these bids, and it will probably impact our pocketbook in one way or another. That is your Watchdog Report for today. All right. All right, next, let's move on. Uh, Sports. Yes, sports is the next one, folks. What's up for sports? I got a great sports report for you today. All right, in high school sports, we again we follow right now because of a limitation of staff. We follow the Central Dolphin Rams specifically. Oh, thank you. We we, we uh, follow the Central Dolphin Boys Lacrosse team. They're in action today in Cum- at Cumberland Valley. I think those games are pretty much rain or shine. Uh, that's my guess. But they're at Cumberland Valley today. 
And then uh, they'll be back home on Thursday at 7 o'clock at Landis Field against Lower Dolphin. The boys, of course, the boys' baseball team, we don't have a girls' baseball team. They play softball. The baseball team, which we're looking forward to getting reports from, has been sidelined by the weather, and that seems to be the case today and probably I guess they were, they were they, a game was rained out on Monday, and they're expecting this game to be rained out as well, or weathered out, or whatever you want to call it. On the professional side, we have two, two count them, one, two, uh, professional teams gearing up to go into action here in our area. Um, the Harrisburg Senators, um, they have their opening night at FNB, First National Bank Stadium on City Island. Coming up on April 13th, they're already, I think their opening day is uh, maybe later this week, Thursday. I think it's Thursday. Yes, Thursday in Bowie, Maryland, the Harrisburg Senators minor league baseball team. They're part of the Eastern League. They open up this Thursday in Bowie, Maryland. And then on April 13th, they have their home opener here in the Harrisburg area on City Island against Bowie Bay Sox again. There's a t-shirt giveaway. The first 2,000 people get a t-shirt, apparently. And there's fireworks. That's a Friday night. Friday night. I may consider going. So maybe you can join me there if I get a chance to go. And then, sort of flying under the radar, we have a professional soccer team that competes. It used to be the City Islanders. Now they've changed their name to Penn FC. And FC, I think, means football club. Football being European soccer. You know, soccer. Football football is soccer over there in Europe. So some U.S. teams adopt these uh, forward uh, European names. So Penn FC. Good morning, Becky Ridercraft. Welcome in from... from um, uh, dolphin, yes, I can, I can tell, I can see. Dolphin is really in good shape today, cloudy, but uh, Dolphin's still on the map, and, and Becky Ridercraft is checking in. So thank you for that. Love having people take this in live. Um, but Penn FC, our professional soccer team, they play on City Island. They are going to take on, I can't read my writing, April 21st is their home opener. It's rainy in Dolphin, yes. I can't tell whether it's raining here in Linglestown. Um, April 21st. So, soccer coming up too, and I, they train. I think they do some of their, their weight training, some of their fitness training at a facility here in Lower Paxton Township. So, how about that? Okay, let's move on. Let's see what, what let's see where my time is at. I have five, about three minutes to get into It Takes a Village. It Takes a Village. And uh, just, I think I'm going to be doing a series of uh, topics that relate to Linglestown, which, you know, is, is the capital of Lower Paxton Township, and things we can do sort of to lift up Linglestown, bring up its stature, maybe make it an enclave for young people, for millennials, a walking community, a destination, that kind of thing. Uh, a few years back, Linglestown got a big lift up with a uh, redevelopment project to put in two roundabouts and sidewalks and all that kind of thing. Sort of set the stage for moving ahead. And what do you have to do to create economic development to uplift an area, up in this case, the village of Linglestown, the actual historic type village of Linglestown? And I think part of it at the core is what I would call spirit. Spirit, now I have a certain spirit about me at this point, you know, wearing stupid hats, I'm portraying a mayor, uh, portraying a weather guy, uh, portraying a computer nerd, all these characters that I, I've gotten into over the years. And I think there's a certain spirit about Linglestown right now, and which sets the stage for moving ahead. Now, what, what am I talking about? I, I, I listed out a bunch of things here. Um, and, and the spirit, I'll, I'll get to that in just a second, but the sp because we have, I think, a good spirit about this place, we have good bones. We have, we have the structure to move ahead if we want to. And here's some of the things that I, where I find spirit happening in Linglestown right now. Uh, St. Thomas Roasters Coffee House. It's um, it started around 2000, so it's like, you know, it's, it's been here a while. It's an institution. But the thing is, there's a spirit about it in the morning. There's three 
distinct groups that gather there every morning to solve the world's problems. But in the afternoon, you know, especially in the afternoon, early evening, it transitions into a place where young people are hanging out. You know, it's not a huge room, but I mean, it has a consistent flow of young people. And Jeff Smith, the proprietor, hires a lot of high school students as baristas. And those, he, he has the ability to find some of the best uh, young people in the area to do that job. They're very personable. They're very confident. They have good self-esteem. They do a good job. So there's just definitely a spirit about uh, St. Thomas Roasters. Uh, I'm now a member of Linglestown Firehouse Bar. There's a definite spirit about that place, trying to assist our fire company. And like to uh, credit Michael Kraska, uh, who heads up the uh, Linglestown Firehouse Bar, the social club that's in the lower section of the uh, uh, Linglestown Firehouse, um, the brick building in the lower part in the back there. This is where it's located. It's a membership club, but I mean, there's a good spirit about that place. Um, and the fire company itself, if you take a look at Lingo Sound Fire Company, we have a huge list of fire company members. And these are people who are actively either um, doing administrative work, fighting fires, uh, doing EMS work, doing uh, fire police work. We have a, a, a robust uh, volunteer fire company. That definitely is unique in today's world. And Bill Payne, I mean, I saw him in action at a township meeting recently. That guy has some fire. I mean, he, you can tell he cares about what he's doing. He may or may not be right all the time, but he cares about what he's doing, okay? Um, Stray Winds Area Neighbors, Swan. It's, you know, Stray Winds is in the uh, Colonial Road Corridor, sort of between Linglestown Road and Route 81, that stretch of Colonial Road. That's more or less stray winds. And there, there have been an active group of citizens doing watchdog things for 16 years. I mean, a lot of communities have no watchdogs. We've had one for 16 years in stray winds area neighbors. Um, Springgate. We have Springgate in the village, which uh, you know occasionally comes into action. But I mean, Springgate, the vineyard, is not that far away, and it's one of the more happening vineyards and wineries and brewer local breweries in all of Pennsylvania. I tell you, if you go out there, you'll be amazed how many people congregate there. Um, even Mellow Minded Cafe has a spirit about it. I mean, there's a lot of people uh, that congregate at Mellow Minded. I mean, different. I mean that. The place has some struggles initially, but they're, the fare they offer, the food, um, it's attracting a, a nice group of people. And lastly, Linglestown Gazette. I mean, uh, Linglestown Gazette's been around since 2006. It's been, it started and stopped twice. This is the third time. And I tell you what's injected spirit into this place has been uh, sports director Joe Gilloway. I mean, having someone to work with and his devotion to scholastic sports is, is, uh, is amazing. So, I mean, Linglestown Gazette has a spirit about it. We have good bones here, and let's see what we can do as a community to move ahead, to make this a really, really happening place. And I'm over time, I'm sure, because I forgot to start the clock again. Ugh. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the show. And I want to give credit where credit is due. I forgot to do the weather, but Anthony Cristillo, the Fat Man Clothing Company. The Fat Man Clothing Company has been a longtime sponsor of this show as well. I'd like to thank Consolidated Insurance Services, uh, Pennsylvania House Candidates, Eric Epstein, and Adam Klein. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bill Bostick checking out for the Gazette Morning Update. Have a great Tuesday.